What's going on YouTube? It's your boy D.I. Ford here coming back to you guys with another video. Today's topic is what are the things that stand out to me in this 2019 Ram 1500 Bighorn Edition. Um, I was sitting here thinking I could do five things like most people do, but there's way more than five things. But the number one thing that really stands out to me is how much space we have in this truck. As you guys can see in the back, I got the little one with me. Look how far back he is. Hey, buddy, can you kick my chair? He can't even kick it. In the Charger, he would always kick my chair. We would go on drives and I would get kicked all the time. And that was something that I hated because even though he's small, he's three years old, but the kid is strong. And so I'll be driving and I'm just like this. Well, guess what? He can't kick it no more because we got so much space in this bad boy. And I had a 1500 before, and that was something that stood out to me in the past, and this is something that stands out to me now. So we're about to go to the park, and we're gonna go into uh, a little bit more, a few other things that were gonna stand out to me in this 1500, all right? Just to kind of piggyback on how much space we have. Come on, little buddy. Look how much space he has back here. Can you touch, can you touch the top? Can you touch the roof? Can you touch that light right there? Like, look how much space he has. A kid can be back here playing football, but um, there's a playground right there, so it's time for him to go play. Come on. Come on. Jump. Woohoo! Boom. Go have fun, buddy. So, we're going to dive into some other things. Um, my next thing, like I said, I'm not going to put them in order. I'm not going to give you a top five or anything like that, but my next thing is I had it in my last Ram, and I have it in this one also, is the ice compartment. Now, I don't know how cool this thing is, but I literally have ice with some ice water. We're here playing at the park. It's like 91 degrees outside, and this has been in there all day, and it's still nice and nice and cool. I have one on there, and I have one on that side too. Now, like I said, I had it in my last vehicle. I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't know what it was for. Um, I used it for another compartment, if you know what I mean, but now i know what it's for something else you really don't think about is cup holders now Hi. this thing has a whole ton of cup holders i got two there i have two here so that makes four let's hop in the back we have five six seven eight nine ten Eleven, twelve. Let's hop on the passenger side. I think we already did the back. Thirteen, fourteen cup holders in this bad boy. Again, who needs that many cup holders? But when you're on a long drive, which is one of the reasons why we got this vehicle, you, you, you're going to need all these cups, all those cup holders, and it has definitely come in handy with us so far. All right, so kind of go along with the cup holders. There's a compartment space that's in this Ram. I mean, obviously, a necessity, sunglasses. I mean, that's damn near on just about every vehicle. If it closes there, here we go. Um, this monstrous center console with everything that you can imagine here. Um, I think this is a pretty cool design that gives you some information about the vehicle. Um, so we have the regular center console here that's nice and small. I think that comes standard with most Rams there. Um, but then this one really kind of opens up a lot of, uh, a lot of just junk that you can just put in there you got your coin slot there you got another little compartment here where if you can put your cell phones wallet obviously the cup holders and this right here you can put a lot more stuff this right here slides have your cell phone holder this is an actual update option here that you can get where it's a um, cordless charger um, uh, charger uh, charging pad there which is pretty cool we have our upper glove box here that you can put stuff in and then you always have the standard uh, center of uh, the lower glove box there and then you have so much space on the uh, on the door panels there. You got a slot here. You got a slot there. You got a slot here. Cool thing about these cup holders, they actually remove out, so you can actually clean them if you uh, spill anything. So I will say they definitely took it to the next notch when they thought about getting everything taken care of here. And then we hop into the back here. I normally keep my seats up, but like I said, you can easily slot that right there. And then you have the space back here that you have where you have the AC ducts coming out at the USB um, charger cables there you have a nice little side right here and you have the two cup holders here 
same uh, space and um, storage in the uh, back doors as well. Another cool feature about the uh, Ram 1500, and I think it's in pretty much uh, every model, I'm not 100% sure, but um, as you can see those little buttons right here, it gives you the, um, the ability to bring the pedals to you and move the pedals away from you, which is um, a great feature definitely for when my wife is driving the vehicle and she likes to sit pretty much all the way up and all the way up top, everything like that. Um, all I have to do is really just move the chair back a little bit, move the pedals up to me just a little bit, um, and it makes my world a heck of a lot easier. But of course, we can't talk about the Ram without popping the hood and seeing that 5.7 liter engine, which is something that I'm a little biased about. I wish they would have done something different with it, but it is what it is. As you guys can see, there's so much space. They really have the engine pushed back. Um, so that you have a lot of opportunity. I call it area of opportunity to um, do anything that you want to do to the um, this engine here. Um, I do plan on possibly, I'm not too sure, getting the new Ram intake um, that they have coming. But after I saw the price, $975 or $945, I might pass on it, I don't know. But we'll see what else we can do with this bad boy. Um, so yeah, we'll see. All right, and with that um, 5.7 liter, we have the, it comes out with the dual exhaust here. Um, like I said, it gives us a little bit more aggressive tone compared to the these boosted V6 that we had. So let's go ahead and uh, rev a little, do a little uh, pull to see what that bad boy sounds like. aggressive to, uh, tone to it but we might do some changes to that we'll see you like that buddy yeah. so the next thing i love about this truck is the u connect screen here um obviously coming from we have the 2015 jeep grand cherokee and we have the uh, 2016 dodge charger so we already have we were real real familiar with the u connect but this here is the display on this bad boy is top notch um the one of the coolest things here is the um, the backup camera. It's like in 4K. I can see the grains of the grass there. Let me get you guys up a little bit closer so you guys can take a look at that. The other cool thing about this is while I'm driving forward, I can still look at the backup camera. And if I want, if I'm if I'm towing something, I can line it up with the tow hitch there. You can't really see because the shadow there. But that is something that is um pretty cool there. I just love how clear and crisp it is and one of the things that really stood out to me which i didn't have in my charger that i do have here is the car play so all i have to do is just connect my phone here boom then here we're going to see the car play icon pop up and then we just click on the car play and then we have the popular iphone um things that we can utilize so this truck did not come with navigation which wasn't a big deal to me. I had it in the charger. I really never used it. But with the CarPlay, I can just go ahead and go into my ways. And now I have navigation. As you guys just saw, I had a text message pop up. I can just click on that. I can click on all these text messages. It will tell me what text messages I have, no problem. I have my iTunes. Um, I have my music. I can go to my playlist. I can pick any playlist I want to play and play it from there But I think that this was something that was so cool I wish I had it in the charger, but this is definitely a game changer here Now if you guys heard of my last uh, previous videos, I have the off-road package on this um, So this is a big horn It, it, it comes with the awesome off-road wheels comes with the standard 20 inch wheels but it sits a little bit higher than most big horns. So it does have a one inch lift right out of the factory. Like I said, the plan is to get this bad boy sitting up a little bit higher, but for right now, we're gonna take our time with that. Um, but yes, this is something that's a little bit different as I pull up to my a neighbor, I got two neighbors. Um, one has a three inch lift, the other one has a just stock ride. When I pull up to the one that's a stock ride, it literally looks like I'm pulling up next to like a, a Ford Ranger or something like that. His truck sits so low compared to mine. And then when I have my neighbor with a three inch lift, it seems like we, he may be just a tad bit higher, but for the most part, it seems like we're right there um, on the same height. This cool thing that I like is the park sensors. Um, I had it on the, on the, on the charger, so that's nothing new. 
um, for the rear, but I didn't have it on the front. Uh, and this comes with it on the front here. And so, as you can see, the little sensors here. The great thing about that is if I'm getting somewhere close to I'm about to hit something, um, it just go ahead and stops. So I don't hit it um, automatically, which is, I mean, eh, it is what it is. I haven't had any issues with it. I've talked to a few people who said they didn't really like it. Um, but so far with having the vehicle for about maybe a month now, I haven't had any issues whatsoever. Now my truck came with the black on black package. So as you can see with the headlights there, which is something I wish they would have did a little bit different. But again, we'll save that for a later, a later video. It has the black paint on the inserts, black ram, black emblems, has the black emblems on the side as well. Everything all blacked out, included on the back there. Blacked out 4x4, blacked out ram, blacked out bighorn. So, those are a few things that really stand out to me with this truck here. Like I said, it's not going to stay stock for long, but um, stay tuned. We got some other things planned. My next video, I'm not too sure if it's going to be the next video I shoot, but it will be the next video that I'm actually going to shoot myself. I don't know if it's going to be the next one I post, but it's going to be talking about some things that I wish they would have done differently with this truck here. Also, we're going to actually see how great that ice pack really is. I'm going to see how long that ice actually lasts. I may add a little bit more ice in there, but we want to see how long that ice lasts in this Alabama heat because it is burning up here. So I'm actually going to get a little one some, some water while she's playing outside. But catch me on the next video. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend. If you haven't liked and subscribed, make sure you do so. But I'm going to catch you guys on the flip side. We out. Say we out, homie. We out, homie. Gang.